Hello you guys, it's Shayna Marie again. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a power yoga flow. So this will be quick. It should be about 40 minutes if not under um, and hopefully it'll bring you a nice sweat and give you a ton of energy whatever time of day you're doing this. Um, so you shouldn't need anything other than yourself. If you do have a block, um, grab it. You may want to use it. It's always good to have props around if you do have them. Um, otherwise, we're going to get started right away. So let's start on our backs. You can start by either extending your legs out straight or bringing them in to ground the feet. Relaxing your arms at your sides, maybe palms face down to feel a little bit more grounded today. Or maybe they feel face up to be a little more open, receiving to this new experience that is about to unfold. Start with a deep inhale to fill up your lungs and expand your belly outwards, filling up the breath. And exhaling, drawing in, exhausting the breath, and flattening your back towards the earth. Again, keep that shape with your spine and inhale to fill up. And exhale, exhaust the breath, pushing navel or belly button towards your spine, really clenching in like you're wringing out that breath like a sponge. Keep taking those conscious inhales and the slow, exhausting exhales. Taking these first few moments of class to just ground here to create a mentality around this space and just be present in your current reality. Notice the thoughts streaming through your mind. Notice the sensations your body may be giving you even in this still posture. Try to find quiet, try to find peace within the mind as you take a few more breaths and start to feel heavy, sinking into your mat and slowly unraveling any mental heaviness or strain that may be happening to you currently. One more deep inhale and exhale it out. If you did not have the legs extended, you can extend them all along. Slowly drag your left knee in towards your chest and grab a hold of that shin. Pull your knee in towards you. Maybe you even lift your shoulders up off the earth to drag that knee closer to you. Really pulling it in, giving it a nice hug. And slowly letting go, extending it back out. Exhaling, pull that right knee into your chest. Give it a nice squeeze in, really, really holding it nice and tight. Maybe that chest lifts. And exhaling, extend it out. Take a little wiggle to the toes and breathe out. Pull those knees in towards your chest. Slowly rock yourself forward and back. Coming all the way up to a tabletop pose, hands and knees. I'll meet you there. In your table, take a deep breath in to lift your heart and pull your shoulder blades back. Exhaling to round the spine, pushing the ground away and tucking your chin, being soft. Inhale again, lift the heart up and let the belly dip down, pulling the shoulders back. Exhaling to round up that spine, pressing your palms into the ground to lengthen and puff the shoulder blades up. Take one more cat cow just like that, warming up your spine, feeling breath with movement. And slowly bringing yourself back through a neutral table pose. Bring your hands a step forward, curl your toes under, and lift your hips up and back to a downward facing dog position. Wrap your triceps back and pull your shoulder blades apart as you soften your neck and soften your knees. Push into your palms to lengthen both sides and lift your hip creases up towards the ceiling. Take a few breaths here in this still down dog. Slightly pull your ribs in, making it nice and contained. 
Maybe a little cycle to the legs, welcoming your hamstrings to this practice today. Slowly bringing yourself back through a neutral downward facing dog. Slowly roll your spine all the way forward to a plank position, nice and slow. Keep pushing hands into the earth as you puff those shoulders up. And when you arrive in plank, sink your heels back towards the back of your mat and push into those palms to puff the shoulders upwards. Take a deep breath here. Inhaling, lift your right leg up. On your exhale, pull that knee to your right upper arm, squeeze it nice and tight. Take a deep breath here, and then step the foot around your right hand. Walk your chest forward and lengthen that spine, pushing into the ball of your back foot. You can stay right here with that back leg lifted, or maybe you sink down to your forearms. If you need to lower your back knee, feel free. But for the sake of today, I want you to try to keep it up pushing into that ball of foot and squeezing your glutes to lift up. Just finding a nice stretch here in your thigh. Maybe you even roll to the pinky edge of your right foot if you wanna get a little different sensation. Taking a couple breaths. And slowly walking those hands back to plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Again, you can cycle the legs, taking a moment here. And slowly roll yourself back forward all the way to a plank pose, pushing the ground away, puff those shoulders up. Lift your left leg up and drag the knee towards your left upper arm. Squeeze knee to upper arm nice and tight, take a breath in. And on your exhale, step the foot around your left hand. Come onto the ball of that back foot as you walk your chest forward and lengthen the spine. Dig into your right foot. Again, you can stay here or maybe forearms lower to the ear. Lengthen the heart forward, take a few breaths. And slowly walk the hands back to plant your palms, downward facing dog. Deep breath in down dog, rise to your tippy toes, look forward in between your thumbs. Exhaling step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, empty, fold it in, let it go. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reach tall. Exhaling, drag hands through heart, grounding at your center. Deep inhale, fingertips reach, root down into the feet. Exhaling, fold forward, soften those hips. Inhale, lift your heart halfway, lengthen. Exhaling, step your right foot back. Lower the knee to the earth, dig into that left foot as you reach fingertips to sky, growing your sides long. Squeeze your inner thighs to drag that left hip back, take a breath in. Exhaling fingertips to earth, walk your left foot forward and straighten the leg, squeezing the inner thighs to pull that left hip back. I want you to look at your right hip and make sure it's right above that knee. Take a breath, maybe toes spread and reach towards your face. And exhaling, bend the knee, plant your palms, step back, plank pose. Come forward to your tippy toes, squeeze the elbows, lower slowly to the earth. Hug elbows into your sides. Inhale, lift your chest up, cobra pose. Drag your shoulder heads down and back, take a breath. And exhaling, lower. Curl toes under. You can go the push up route, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg stretches back. Reach that heel. Exhaling, tap knee to right upper arm, squeeze. Inhale, reach back, find length. Exhaling, step forward. Lower your back knee, squeeze up those inner thighs. Inhaling, fingertips to sky, reach tall. Hug your ribs in, take a breath. And exhale, walk that right foot forward. Straighten the leg and pull the hip back. Curl or toes can reach towards your face and spread apart. Lengthen your heart forward to reach it towards the front of your mat. Take a breath. And exhaling, bend that front knee. You can curl those back toes under to lift your left leg and step it to the right. Fold in forward, Uttanasana at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift your heart halfway, lengthen. Exhale, empty, fold it in. 
Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reach them tall. Exhaling, drag hands through heart, grounding at your center here. Deep inhale, fingertips reach, root down. Exhaling, fold forward, softening in. Inhale, lift your heart halfway, lengthen that spine. Exhale, step left foot back. Lower the knee to the earth, squeeze the inner thighs, breathe in, fingertips to sky, reaching tall. Exhaling, fingers down. Walk that right leg forward and straighten the leg, pulling the hip back for a half splits. Walk your chest forward, take a breath, get that nice stretch. Exhaling, bend the knee. Plant your palms, step back, plank pose. Push into the balls of your feet to drag your heart forward and lower slowly to the earth. Squeeze elbows into your sides. Inhale, cobra, lift your heart up. Pull the shoulders down and back. And exhaling lower, curl toes under, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg stretches back nice and long. Exhale, draw the knee in, tapping it to that left bicep. Inhale, tricep, inhale, reach back length. And I was like, what am I talking about? Exhaling, step forward. Lower your back knee. Inhale, fingertips to sky, reaching tall. Squeeze that belly in. Exhaling, fingers to earth. Walk that left foot forward and straighten the leg to pull the hip back. Take a breath. Reach your toes towards your face and take a nice inhale here. And exhaling, bend the front knee. Curl back, toes under to lift that leg up and forward. Uttanasana, folding at the top of the mat. Inhale, find length. Heart forward. Exhaling, fold it in, release. Inhale, fingertips to sky, reach them tall. Exhaling, drag hands through heart, finding your center here. Deep inhale, fingertips reach. Grab opposite elbows, stretch up, side bend to your right. Inhale through center, find length. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center, reach, reach, reach. Exhaling, fold forward, softening in. Inhale, lift the heart halfway, lengthen that spine. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, plank pose. Drag your chest forward, pushing into your palms. Squeeze your elbows. You could always lower your knees or halfway down, chaturanga. Inhaling, lift your chest up, dog. Roll those shoulders back. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, rise to your tippy toes. Look in between your thumbs. I want you to shorten your down dog by a couple inches. Take a deep breath here, look in between your thumbs. On your exhale, hop up and land back and down dog. Inhale, push the ground away, find length. Exhaling, get those hips lifted, back to down dog. You wanna think rainbow with your hips, not pushing forward, okay? Inhale, one last time. Exhaling, hop up, land back and down dog. Take a deep breath in. Look in between your thumbs. Exhaling, hop the feet around your wrists. Lift your chest up, yoga squat. So knees are high up on your upper arms. I want you to dig into your feet and squeeze your glutes to activate those muscles a little. Take a deep breath here, lift your heart up. Exhaling, tiptoe those feet in, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, find length, heart forward. Exhaling, soften those knees, fold it in. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reaching tall. Exhaling, grab opposite elbows. Stretch up, side bend to your right. Inhale through center, find length. Exhaling, side bend left. Inhale through center, reach your fingertips. Exhaling, fold forward, softening your hip creases. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen that spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank pose. Squeeze those elbows, rock forward, lower halfway. You should be familiar by now. Inhaling, lift your chest up, dog. Exhale, use your core to pull up in that downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here and shorten your down dog by a few inches. Push the ground away and rotate your inner elbows forward. Lengthen those arms and lift your hip creases up. Take a deep inhale. Exhaling, hop the hips up. And then back and down dog. Deep inhale here. Exhale, hop up. 
land back and down dog one more time deep inhale exhale hop up land back and down dog take a deep breath in this time look at your wrists exhaling hop those feet around the wrists inhale lift your chest up yoga squat dig into your heels to lift your butt up if you're on your balls of feet dig into those to lift up take a deep inhale here lengthen your spine exhaling crawl those toes in Fold forward, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back. Katasana, fingertips reach. Squeeze up those inner thighs and then sit deeper into your chair. Wrap your tailbone underneath you and spiral those pinkies in. Take a breath. Exhaling, fold forward, soften your neck. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, plank pose. Drag that chest forward, squeeze elbows lower halfway. Inhale, heart lifts up dog. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg stretches back. Exhaling, draw knee to left upper arm, squeeze it in. Inhale, find length, one legged dog. Exhaling, step your left foot forward. Pivot your back heel flat. Breathe in, Virabhadrasana, one, fingertips reach. So your feet need to be wide to square that pelvis up at the front of your mat if you're not super hypermobile. Dig into that front foot, and then dig into your back foot. So you're pushing both feet to rip that mat apart. Deep inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhaling, left elbow on top, or right elbow on top of left. Wind your arms around for eagle arms. If you're super tight, grab opposite shoulders. Take a breath here, reach those elbows forward, pull the shoulder blades apart. Exhaling, straighten your front leg, rotate the hip back and fold halfway forward. Dig into that front foot as you lengthen your spine. Take a deep inhale. Exhaling, bend your front knee, fingertips to earth. Inhale, lift your right leg up, standing splits, heel to sky, find length. Exhale, step right foot back. Plant your palms, inhale, left leg to sky, so you're in one-legged plank. Maybe you can rock forward and lower halfway down for one-legged chaturanga. Drop your foot to the earth, inhale, lift your chest up, dog, woo! Exhaling, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, right leg reaches, no time to waste. Exhaling, drag knee to right upper arm, squeeze, maybe make contact. Inhale, find length, reach back. Exhaling, step wide on your mat. Pivot your back heel flat. Breathe in, Virabhadrasana, one, fingertips reach. So you're squeezing up those inner thighs and dragging your right hip back, pushing into the foot. Exhaling, left elbow on top of right. Wind your arms around for eagle arms. Push elbows into each other and reach them forward. Spread shoulder blades apart, take a breath. Exhaling, straighten your front leg. Pull the hip back and fold halfway forward. Long spine here as you take a breath in. And exhale, soften your front knee. Drag or drop your fingertips to the earth. Inhale, standing splits, heel to sky, find length. And exhale, step left foot back. Plant your palms, push the ground away as you reach your right leg back. One legged plank, take a breath. Slowly come forward, squeeze elbows lower halfway. Again, use your own variations here. Inhaling, lift your chest up, dog. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here, finding softness again. Hopefully you have some good music going here, because I do not. And just cultivating that space again, slowing down the breath. I'm gonna be cueing Chaturanga to up dog for the rest of class. Feel free to take Cobra or Locust or just skip it, okay? Nothing's mandatory here and I don't want anyone to get discouraged for not being able to do a billion Chaturangas. It's not necessary and that's not what yoga is for. Take a deep inhale, push the ground away. Rise to your tippy toes, look forward. Exhaling, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift your heart halfway, lengthen. 
Exhale, bend your knees, sit back, Utkatasana, fingertips reach. Spiral those pinkies in, take a breath and drag the tailbone down, deep inhale. Dig deeper into your chair. Exhaling straight, legs pull forward, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen that spine. Exhaling, plant your hands. Step back, plank pose. Drag the chest forward, squeeze your elbows lower, halfway. Inhale, heart lifts up, dog. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath, left leg reaches back, no time to waste. Exhaling, pull knee to left upper arm, squeeze. Inhale, reach back, lengthen. Exhaling, step wide on your mat. Pivot your back heel flat, breathe in, your Vajrasana, one, fingertips reach. Take a breath here. And exhaling, right elbow on top of left. Winding those arms around for eagle arms or your variation. And exhale, straighten that front leg. Drag the hip back, fold halfway forward. Dig into that front heel to pull it back, take a breath. And exhale, soften your front knee. Release your bind as you bring fingertips down. Dragging your back foot forward and up, standing splits, heel to sky. Step your right foot back, plant your palms, inhale, left leg to sky. Again, your own variation or maybe one-legged chaturanga halfway down. <sighs> inhale, lift your chest up, dog, drag your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhaling, right leg reaches back, long, long leg. Exhale, drag knee to upper arm, squeeze. <sighs> inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step right foot wide on your mat. Pivot your back heel flat, breathe in, Virabhadrasana, one fingertips reach. Exhaling, left elbow on top of right. Wind those arms around for eagle arms. Push the elbows forward and reach the fingertips up. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Wrap the hip back, fold halfway forward. Think long spine here as you energetically drag that right heel back. Exhale, soft bend to your front knee. Bring fingertips down to lift your back leg up, standing splits, heel to sky. Exhale, step left foot back. Plant your palms, inhale, right leg up. Rock forward, squeeze elbows lower, halfway. Inhale, chest lifts, up dog. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to your tippy toes, look forward in between your thumbs. Exhaling, step or flow. Top of mat. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, find length. Exhaling, fold it in, soften those knees. Breathe in, fingertips to sky, reach them tall. Exhaling, drag hands through heart, finding your center again, ground here. Inhale, fingertips reach. Exhaling, clasp hands behind the back. Drag your knuckles down, open your heart up. And exhale, keeping that bind, soften your knees as you fold forward. Drag the knuckles forward and take a breath here. Exhaling, release the bind. Let it go, fold it in. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back, Utkatasana, fingertips reach. Again, drag that tailbone back and squeeze your belly in, take a breath. On your exhale, sweep arms along your sides. Pick your heels up and start to straighten your legs as you dive your nose towards the earth for diver's pose. Think sit bones to the ceiling as you straighten your legs and dive your nose into the earth, diving, diving, diving further. When you can't dive anymore, come to a tiny squat. Bring your knees high up on your upper arms. This may be where you stay today if you're not into crow pose yet. Otherwise, if you want to push yourself a little bit further, keep squeezing those knees on those upper arms. Start rocking your weight forward. Maybe toes stay down, or maybe one foot picks up. Maybe two for Bakasana or Crow Pose. Take a deep inhale here. Exhaling, step or float back to plank or Chaturanga. Inhaling, lift your heart up, dog. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. In through the nose. Side out, exhale. Inhale, left leg stretches back. Exhale, drag knee to your left upper arm. Squeeze it tight. So I want you to stay right here. Instead of moving the knee backwards, 
Just let it lower towards your left wrist. And exhale, back up. Inhale, let it lower. Exhale, back up. Last time, inhale, lower. Exhale, pull it up. Inhale, one-legged dog, reach the heel back, finally. Exhale, and step forward. Pivot your back heel flat. Breathe in, Virabhadrasana, two fingertips reach. Take a deep inhale here. Exhaling, left forearm, left thigh. Breathe in, right arm over your head. Long line of energy from heel to fingertips. Deep inhale. Exhaling, straighten your front leg. Wrap that left hip back. Fingertips to earth or shin. Breathe in, Trikonasana, take a breath. And exhale, soften your front knee. Start shifting your weight forward as you pick your back heel up for half moon. Dig your heel back and spread your toes. You can bring right hand to hip for a moment. And then inhale that hand to the sky once you find balance. Maybe that left arm hovers for a little strengthening and balancing today. And exhaling, turn your chest down. Standing splits, leg grows long. Start to pull that knee in towards your chest. Coming all the way up so gracefully to standing. Inhale, majorette, fingertips reach. On your exhale, grab a hold of that right shin and hug the knee in towards your chest. So just like we did on our backs to start practice today, I want you to hug that knee in nice and tight. And take a deep breath here. On your exhale, release the knee. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh and sit back into that left leg. Think sit bones to the back of your mat. Spread your right toes and reach the heel towards your left. If you need extra, you can lift the knee up a little bit while pressing the ankle into your left thigh. Take a couple breaths here, maybe hands to heart, maybe fingers on the earth. And exhaling, unwind. Step the right foot down, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, plank pose. Drag the chest forward, squeeze the elbows lower halfway. Inhaling, heart lifts up dog. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to your tippy toes, look forward in between your thumbs. Exhaling, step or float, top of mat. Inhale, find length, spine forward. Exhaling, fold it in, release. Inhale, fingertips reach, root down. Exhale, finding your center, grounding here. Deep inhale, fingertips reach. Exhaling, clasp the hands behind the back, drag your knuckles down, open your heart up. And then soft bend to the knees as you fold your heart forward at your hip creases, dragging knuckles forward. Take a breath here, let your neck relax. And release the bind, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back, Utkatasana. We've been here before, you know where we're going. Drag that tailbone underneath you, take an inhale. And picking those heels up, sweep the arms along your sides as you dive your nose towards the earth. Sit bones towards the ceiling as you dive, dive, dive further. When you can't dive anymore, come to a tiny squat. Plant your palms, hug those upper arms. Again, you can stay here or hands shoulder distance apart. Squeeze those upper arms and shift your weight forward. Maybe toes stay down or maybe one foot picks up or two. Take a breath, Bakasana. And exhale, step or flow back to plank or chaturanga. Inhaling, heart lifts up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg reaches back. Exhale, bring knee to right upper arm, squeeze. And again, drop that knee towards your wrist. Exhale, pull it up. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, pull up. Last time, inhale down. Exhale, pull up. And inhale, extend finally. Exhaling, step forward. Pivot your back heel flat, dig your heels down, breathe in, Virabhadrasana two. I want you to feel your heels digging and squeeze up those inner thighs like you want to crunch your mat together. And exhaling, right forearm, right thigh. Inhale, left arm over the head, long line from heel to fingertips. On your exhale, straighten your front leg. Drag that right hip back. 
fingertips to earth or shin. Breathe in, Trikonasana, triangle pose. And exhaling, soften your front knee. Start shifting your weight forward, coming all the way up to a half moon. Dig your heel, spread your toes. Maybe that left arm reaches for the sky, and maybe you hover your right arm. Take a breath, turning that pelvis open to your left. Exhaling, turn your chest down, standing splits, fine length. Pull that knee into your chest. We're moving along quickly now. Hopefully you're still here. And inhale, fingertips to sky, reach tall. Exhaling, clasp those fingertips, coming in front of your shin, and then just pulling that knee in. Kind of bend to your right knee. Maybe even you lift your chest backward, really pulling that knee in, or maybe you hug it close, your choice. And exhale, release. Cross left ankle over right thigh as you bend that knee. And sit back, thinking sit bones to the back of the mat. Spread your left toes, reach your heel, making sure that we don't hurt any lower backs today. Maybe you even push into those hip creases to lengthen your heart forward. Take a couple breaths here, feel that nice stretch. And exhaling, foot to earth, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhaling, plant your hands, plank pose. Drag your chest forward, lower halfway. Whew. Inhale, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, sigh it out. Inhale, rise to your tippy toes, look forward. Exhaling, step or float, top of mat. <laughs> Inhale, lift your chest halfway, lengthen. Exhale, empty and fold it in. <sighs> Inhale, fingertips to sky, reach them tall. Exhaling, drag hands through heart, grounding at your center. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Pull that knee in towards your chest. Again, you can hug the knee in, or if you have the space, bring peace fingers to big toes. And if you wanna go further, kick that heel out and straighten the leg nice and long. Take a breath here, squeeze your inner thighs and act like you're plugging that left hip back. If you wanna go further with that stretch, bring your chest towards your leg and pull the leg up towards you. Taking a deep inhale here and slowly releasing. Kicking that heel out, keeping a straight leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhaling like a pendulum all the way down and back to standing splits, heel to sky, find length. Exhale, step your left foot back. Plant your palms, inhale, right leg to sky, one leg and dog. Rock yourself forward, squeeze elbows lower halfway. <sighs> inhale, tops of feet down, up dog. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg reaches back. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, look under that left arm. Inhale, one-legged dog, find length. Exhaling, step your left foot forward. Stay on the ball of your back foot, breathe in, high lunge, fingertips reach. Digging into that back foot, I want you to find a sweet bend to your front knee as you drag that hip back. Take a breath here. On your exhale, clasp opposite elbows behind your back. Deep inhale over those elbows, a little back bend to reverse all that forward folding. And exhaling, straighten your front leg, pull the hip back, fold halfway forward. Dig into that front, that front heel. Maybe the toes pick up and reach towards your face. If you wanna release the bind, go for it. Exhaling, soften that front knee. Start dragging your back foot forward and up to a warrior three. Take a breath here, lengthen heart forward. Maybe even arms extend over the head. And exhale, plant your palms. Step your right foot back, breathe in, one-legged dog, left leg reaches. I know we're doing a lot of jingle jangling around here. I want you to shorten your down dog with that right foot down and then rock forward to a plank pose. It'll be a little awkward of a plank. On your exhale, drag that left knee to your left upper arm. This might be where you stay, but I want you to try to get that knee high up on your upper arm. You might need to lower or shorten your distance. So you really want it to be nice and high. You might stay here or maybe bend those elbows, picking your back foot up for a one-legged curl. 
Take a couple of breaths. Reach that heel back, spread the toes, and exhale, step back. Whew. Maybe finding a chaturanga, or maybe I'll meet you downward facing dog. Whew. Take a breath in, sigh it out. Inhale, rise to your tippy toes, gaze forward. Exhaling, step or float, top of mat. Inhale, lift the heart halfway, lengthen. Exhale, fold and then release. Inhale, fingertips to sky, reach them tall. Exhaling, hands dragging through heart, grounding at your center. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Take a breath here. Again, you can hug the shin in, or maybe piece fingers to right big toes, stretching your heel out, squeeze your inner thighs, pull your right hip back. If this is good for you, stay, or maybe you pull that leg towards you, finding a nice little forward fold. And slowly lifting chest back up, release your bind, inhale, fingertips to sky. And exhaling, pendulum your way all the way down and back to standing slits, leg grows long. Exhale, step right foot back. Plant your palms, inhale, left leg up. One-legged chaturanga, come forward, lower halfway down. Inhale, lift your chest up, dog. We're almost there. Exhaling, pull up and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, right leg stretches back. Exhaling, bend your knee, open your hip, finding a little inner thigh stretch. And turning back through center, one-legged dog. Exhaling, hug the knee to your heart. Step forward. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Breathe in, high lunge, fingertips reach. Exhale, pass opposite elbows behind your back, folding over them for a little back bend. Digging into that front foot. Exhaling, straighten your front leg, scissor up your inner thighs as you pull the hip back and fold halfway forward. If you want to release the bind to bring fingertips down, that's totally your choice. Take a breath here and exhale, soft bend to your front knee as you pull your back leg forward and up to warrior three. Again, you can keep your hands at your heart, maybe along the sides or forward, your choice. Take a breath here. Exhale, turn the chest down, standing splits. Step your left foot back. Inhale, right leg to sky. This is our last push here. You can shorten your down dog a little bit and slowly pull right knee to right upper arm. This might be where you stay. If you wanna go further, bend your elbows. Squeeze them towards each other. Maybe that back foot picks up for one-legged curl. Take a breath wherever you're at today. And exhale, step back. You can find a vinyasa or downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Side out, exhale. Inhale, rise to your tippy toes, look forward. Exhaling, step or float all the way onto your backs. Sway your knees from side to side, take a moment. You can bring your feet in to plant on the earth, hip distance apart. Drape your arms along your sides. Take a deep inhale through your nose, fill up your belly. And exhale, let your back fall towards the earth like you wanna flatten your whole spine on the ground. Again, take an inhale and flatten that spine towards the earth. Slowly pushing into your feet, start to lift your hips and ribs up. You can walk your shoulder blades underneath you Maybe clasping the hands for a little bridge pose. Keep hugging those inner thighs and squeezing your butt to lift up. Take a few breaths. And exhaling, slowly lowering to the earth. You can sway knees from side to sides. My mat is so sweaty, it's making noises. <laughs> and coming back through center. Again, you can take bridge pose if that's where you are in your practice today. If you wanna dive a little deeper, you can take Urdhva Dhanurasana with me. So bring those feet in again, knees pointing towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and let your exhale draw your whole back towards the earth. 
start to lift hips and ribs up. If you're taking bridge, you can walk the shoulder blades under. If you're going to full urdva, place your palms along your head, facing the fingertips to your heels, and slowly pushing into the earth, lift your chest up. Open your shoulder blades as you rock backwards. Take a couple breaths. And exhaling, lower head, shoulders to earth. Sway knees from side to side. We're gonna stay on our backs here. Cross your left uh, leg over your right, like you're sitting, I don't know, like a girly sit. That's the best way I can put it. Cross left ankle over right, or left leg over right. Gosh. Wind the leg around if possible, like you would do an eagle pose. We're gonna pull those knees in and then slowly just twist off to your right side. Open your shoulders up. Maybe a gaze off that left hand. If you need to adjust at all, feel free. This is a deeper twist. So if you need to come out of it, totally up to you. And slowly pull your way back through center. You can cross right ankle or right leg over left. <laughs> Wind the leg around if possible, pulling those knees in. And then let the knees fall off to your left side. If you need to adjust the hips at all, feel free. And just open your arms up. Soft gaze off your right hand. And slowly pulling back through center. You can give your knees a nice sway from side to side. And then pull the knees into your chest. Grab the insides of your feet opening your knees up wide and facing those heels towards the ceiling. Draw your tailbone towards the floor and then just let your hips open, maybe taking a rock from side to side, massaging the spine. If you would like to go a little deeper, I always like to stretch my legs out long in these happy babies, giving myself a nice hamstring stretch as well. a few more breaths here, just opening up. And exhale, bending the knees if you have them straight. Stretching one foot up, stretching two feet out. Relax your arms along your sides. Take one last deep inhale. Sigh it out, exhale. Softening into your mat. I'm taking a minute of Shavasana. Enjoy. Start to deepen your breath. Opening your lungs up again. Find a little movement with your hands and your feet. Slowly dragging your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself one last warm hug to thank your body, thank everything it does, everything it did today in this space. And rolling off to your right side, maybe using your right arm as a pillow. Left arm can find the floor or just relax. 
and slowly pressing those fingertips into the earth. Bringing yourself all the way back up to a seat. Bring your hands to your heart, thumbs plugging at your sternum, eyes soft, head can bow. Take one last inhale, a slow conscious exhale. Feeling that breath relax you once again, softening your shoulders down. Thank you for taking the time to care for yourself, for your body and your mind today, and for breathing and moving and sharing space with me. I hope you have an amazing day and this warmed you up and created a lot of space in both body and mind. Namaste. Thank you all. This was an amazing practice. Um, just a reminder that sometimes I lose my words, so it'll be okay. I hope you guys made it through, made through the whole thing. I can't talk today, apparently. Um, if you would like to subscribe, please do if you want to practice with me more. Um, I also have hit videos on here and a lot of workouts, so feel free to check it out. Otherwise, I hope to see you for the next video.